I am Hanuman Pasudarshan. I work with indigenous people in India for the last 31 years. I am uh, working for the health, education and livelihoods. Can you tell us what is the central aim of your work, your organization? Mainly to empower the indigenous people so that they, um, they, they have access to their natural resources and they have sustainable development, which they are already doing to continue have uh, empowered them to continue that uh, sustainable development that way. Can you tell us when you received the Right Livelihood Award and what it has meant to you and to your work? I received the Right Livelihood Award in uh, 1994. Uh, it, is a, it is the first award uh, which I received and it has made a lot of uh, impact on my work. Uh, recognition within the country has improved and the money which I received has helped me entire money we used it for tribal development and it's a great help. Also uh, interaction with the other awardees, uh, laureates, uh, and uh, learning from them, from each other has been a great value. So what is your vision of a good world? Uh, I am committed to the, uh, the rural and the tribal poor in India and uh, to see that these people have access to health, education, and livelihoods um, with a decentralized democratic processes within the country. Uh, I think that's, that's my dream. What are your expectations of the cooperation between the RLC and the Center for Development Research and its students? Yeah, uh, I'm thrilled at the concept of this Right Livelihood College and also ZDF. Uh, both have been, we are activists, NGOs, uh, trying to do s uh, something to change the lives of people. Uh, but a research component into it, documentation and research of these uh, <coughs> indigenous people, and interacting with the researchers, partnership with the researchers has tremendous value. Sharing my own experience and learning from others. And uh, maybe, hopefully, ZDF will also now provide a PhD student and we can document things better and evidence-based uh, develop evidence for sustainable development. Thank you very much for this interview.